Hey there everybody and welcome to Power 5, the last tutorial in this tutorial series. So, today we're going to be learning how to change our skins of our players to the one that we selected, okay? So, now this tutorial, just so you guys know, will be pretty short, like about 5 minutes or so. So, just, it won't be so long, okay? So, now first thing we're going to go to is, we're going to go to the player, okay? This is my player and we're gonna make a variable okay called textures well you can name this variable whatever you want as you all you, you guys all know and this variable is gonna be a an array sorry okay so we're gonna equal equate it to an array so now in this array we're gonna be having some textures okay so the textures that you actually put in your store is what you're gonna be putting here and you're gonna put it in some kind of order. So you're gonna put it in the order of your um, panel. So the first one is gonna be this guy, second one is gonna be this guy, third guy, and keep going if you have more. Okay. So here um, my player and the textures. I'm gonna uh, they are gonna be strings. Okay. So I have only three textures in my store. So I'm gonna actually only pass in three um three values to this array so um as you can see here i've made three strings um three strings separated by commas um just so that they'll be in our array so we're going to go over to our resource tree here and we're going to actually be searching for all those our skins so my first skin is the godo logo as all of you guys know um practically almost my best texture in the wall okay <laughs> so here i'm gonna paste this in i'm gonna just go over here copy the path and paste it in here so my other skins are here found in the assets um over here my top down enemy this is the one um i'm just gonna check it again okay yeah after the good logo is this one so um i'm gonna paste it here and this guy is also I'm gonna also copy his path and paste it here. So that's all for the textures variable. Well, if you have more textures, as I told you before, you can just keep adding them according to um, their order in the store. Okay. So now on the ready, we're going to actually be doing some things. So we're gonna say global. Sorry, global dot um the world of store dot selected and actually we're gonna be telling the player which skin is gonna choose so before that as all of you guys know we have to load the store first so that we can um we can actually get the right spark here it's a global um what we're gonna do is we're going to get our sprite node sprite. okay and to do that i'm just gonna go over here to the scene where my guy is and like sprites okay so i'm gonna get the sprite node the texture and it's going to be equal to a load function so we're gonna be loading this um this texture in it but if you notice this is not actually a texture this is a value this is an integer okay as it's shown here so what we're going to be doing is um the integer is what well, well, is the index of the textures we're actually going to be getting so we we'll just say textures okay and in the app in the square brackets we just put in this there so it gets um if it's a zero that means it's like the best player and if it's a one, if it's a two, it just does the same thing. So this should be all for this tutorial. Um, just check it out to see. And we already chosen a character in our previous tutorial. That's why the sprite already changed. Okay, so if we select this guy, as you can see, he was selected just like three seconds ago. You can just go back to the video and see. Okay, if you just hit selected and we select this guy. Okay, and as you can see, selected here, selected here, and it changes the script, it changes the textures really nicely. So, um, this is all for this tutorial series. 
thanks for watching um thanks for your patronage thanks for everything um thanks all my all of you subscribing to my channel out there thank you and thank you again so if you have any questions you can go onto my discord hit me on instagram or anywhere so i'll be happy to help you so thank you and goodbye